so welcome back to my youtube channel my dear friends so we are discussing on the vector so here one cartesian coordinate system completely we have studied so cylindrical coordinate system we will see now so for that the basic diagram is the cylinder so x axis y axis z axis will be there but for the cylinder the three more uh, parameters will be considered that is r phi and z so you can observe here this is the radius and considered so similarly so here the variables are r theta phi and the variable range is r greater than 0 less than infinity phi greater than 0 less than 2 pi z greater than minus infinity and less than plus infinity okay r is the radius phi is the angle from the x axis h z is the height the axis r phi z are mutually perpendicular to each other the unit vectors are for r ar for phi a phi z a z so general vector for r we can write as ar ar phi a phi a phi z a z a z so differential elements <coughs> very important to write the differential element for r we'll write it as dr for phi r d phi we will write because phi is the angle it is making but the radius is r so it is arc is making r d phi so here it is r d phi for z it is d z so once we know this uh, we can able to write differential length vector so differential length vector for r we will write as dr a phi so a r a phi a z is common so differential elements with respect to r dr differential element with respect to phi r d phi with respect to dz it is dz okay so once we write the differential length vector we can write the differential surface we know that this is a point r phi z when we are writing a differential surface with respect to r in a direction so we should write for phi so it is r d phi and for z dz and the unit direction ar okay it is for r similarly we can write it for ds phi when you are writing for the phi so it is dr and dz a phi okay like this it is going to be changed for ds r ds phi and ds z so differential value can be written as the multiplication of 3 okay so r d phi dr and dz okay next <coughs> this is called as point transformation so we are transforming uh, cartesian to cylindrical and cylindrical to cartesian for that we'll take the help of this diagram so here it is x y z and here it is uh, this quantity is r okay so here you can write this as phi and this as z okay now how we can write from the figure cos phi so look at the phi so cos phi can be written as x divided by r <coughs> where is r the r is here okay uh sorry it is not r this is r okay so these two are parallel so here we can consider it as r this is perpendicular okay so if i take this as perpendicular cos phi is x is the adjacent r is the hypotenuse that is what we can write this side as r cos phi and this side as r sin phi so that's why here cos phi can be written as x divided by r so x is nothing but r cos phi so similarly sin phi can be written as y by r so it is y is equal to r sin phi so x y z as it is so here x y z can be written like this so cylindrical to cartesian similarly cartesian to cylindrical if we want to do it so take this x and y square and this as r so it is r equal to root of x square so we know that so cos square plus sin square value is 1 so r square as it is so r square is equal to x square plus y square so r equal to root of x square similarly divide this by one another <coughs> we will get uh, it is not uh, 
cos by sin it is sin by cos y by x so tan y by x phi equal to tan inverse y by x so x square and like this okay so it is cartesian to cylindrical coordinate system point transformation so if we do the dot product so write a r a phi a z so a r a r a phi a phi same thing one different it is zero cross product if you take the unit vector anti clockwise so write a r a phi a z so write it as a r cross a phi is the next parameter a z so when you are writing the anti clockwise remember positive when you are writing the clockwise and and uh, clockwise negative okay so this is how in this fashion you can write it a r cross a z a r cross a z is minus a phi okay similarly when you take the similar unit vectors cross product a r cross a r is zero a phi a phi is zero a z a z zero okay so this is how we can right so differential value differential everything is over vector transformation <coughs> okay so this is not needed so whenever uh, del operator in cylindrical system so we should know this del operator in cylindrical system we know that in point in a cylindrical system is r phi z so it is dr r d phi d z so del is d dou by dou r of a r plus 1 by r dou by dou phi of a phi plus dou by dou z of a z so this is a del system so if you take v <coughs> which is function of r phi z and if you multiply del v so we will call it as gradient just multiplication suppose if you want the divergence take del dot a this dot with a for that you should take the a in the cylindrical system general vector so after that what you should do is you should delta and a make the dot product so here dou by dou r of a r with a r a r so a r a r value is 1 so dou by dou r of a s can be written like this okay so here one extra thing added is 1 by r and r multiply and divide by r is existing for the first term that is what you can observe second term 1 by r as it is so dou by dou phi of a phi and it is dou by dou z of a z next curl del cross a in cylindrical system r phi z dou r r d, d phi d z okay so you can put it in the cylindrical coordinate system like this determinant structure first uh, row are unit vectors second row belongs to del third row belongs to a so it is one by row of this okay so if we go for the determinant structure you know that so it is one by r of okay so if i want to write it for the first one a phi so we can take the cross product between these two uh, multiplication between these two dou phi dou phi of a z minus dou by dou z of a z so obviously the r will be there okay like this we can take positive negative positive okay this is how we can treat if you take the simple example find the area of cylindrical surface with height is given this height is given and radius r equal to 1 meter is given okay <coughs> so here dz is given and here dz uh, means uh, small with respect to r is given so we can write this as surface for double integration of ds so here 1 for phi we can write okay so because r is a constant quantity h is a constant quantity only the variable is ds5 so once we write ds5 ds5 is nothing but <coughs> r d5 dz okay 
so that's why you are having here for ds d5 and dz 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 if you do the integration you will get 4 pi square so similarly we can have the volume find the volume of the cylinder height is given radius is given so we know that dv equal to r dr d5 dz so r dr d5 dz so if you calculate so you will get volume equal to 12 pi meter cube okay so this is how you should carefully observe and should write in the cylindrical coordinate system okay cylindrical coordinate system r phi z differential element dr phi means r d phi and it is d z okay this is how you should write thank you we'll see in the next video of the next update stay tuned to my youtube channel for the basics of engineering basics of uh, physics basics of uh, the degree okay so about the fields click on the bell icon for the latest notifications thank you we'll see in the next video